Hey everybody, so I have been YouTubing for a couple of years now, and since my channel has still not gotten to a thousand subscribers, I thought I'd go and find some other really knowledgeable YouTubers and watch some of their videos about how to get my channel to take off a little bit, to start getting some more subscribers. And everything that these guys have been saying I've been doing, except for one thing. I stumbled upon a video of somebody who said that you really have to make your channel your own and it has to be unique and more about you. And one thing I haven't done is shared anything with you guys really about me and anything about my life. So I thought I would give you guys just a little bit of a peek into my life and a little bit about what I go through and what I've gone through uh, to get to this point of having a YouTube channel about backpacking. I was doing a lot more scrambling, a lot more technical mountaineering, a lot more backcountry skiing, a lot more uh, moving very fast in the mountains when I was younger. I was a lot fitter, I was a lot skinnier, I didn't have any kids, and it was just easy to do everything and be in the mountains three days a week. I got a lot of experience over a lot of years. When I was a kid, my parents always took us hiking and cross-country skiing and hunting. So I already had that baseline of wanting to be in the mountains and it being my happy place. And with moving fast in the mountains, you're always putting your body through high stress, your knees in, through high stress, your hips, everything else. So that when you get a little bit older, my age now, I am 49. And at the time this video is going to come out, things aren't working as well as they were back when you were younger. I also, when I was 19, started getting hives all over my body and they were huge. They were like dinner plate size hives. And I was one of those freak show patients that they would bring in all of the students to see me because it wasn't something that they saw every day. I ended up having hives all over my body for four years at a time. And then um, they would put me on high doses of prednisone and high doses of antihistamines, which antihistamines I found out I was allergic to during the time I was having hives. They sent me to tons of specialists. I kept getting bronchitis, kept getting pneumonia, uh, lots of colds, lots of um, strep throat, lots of nasal infections. I was just a mess. I was always sick all the time. And they ended up putting me on high dos doses of prednisone. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And I would be mountain biking straight up some trail that I used to do without any problem. And I would stop and I would just about pass out on the side of the trail. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I'd bring it to my doctor and he would put me through asthma tests or get me to try asthma inhalers or send me to asthma doctors. I've been to so many specialists, to dermatologists, allergists, asthma specialists. Nobody could figure out what was wrong with me. I found out much later that if they would have taken just a skin sample of one of my hives and sent it to the lab, they probably would have known what was wrong with me right away or done some simple blood tests. And I suffered with what I had for years to the point where I had to actually quit university. And I was actually fired from my job as a lifeguard and a swimming instructor because nobody wants to have somebody in the water that looks like an alien with giant dinner plate hives all over their body. Fast forward to probably about six years ago, I finally decided that I just needed a second opinion. I just needed to change doctors. And I found a different doctor. I found a woman doctor who didn't make me feel like I was just crazy because I don't know what it is with white old male doctors, but when you talk to them, they just look at you like you're crazy and they negate everything that you're feeling and they don't really listen to you. Uh, I got myself a young female doctor and she actually listened and I was sent to um, internist and that internist started really looking into what was wrong with me. And he sent me to an ENT, which is an ear, nose and throat specialist. And he put a camera down my throat and down into my trachea. And he said to me, I can validate everything that you've been saying. I can see that your trachea is halfway closed. Have you ever heard of anything called GPA? GPA is a very rare autoimmune disease. The long name for it is granulomatosis with polyangitis. Uh, they found out that I have this after uh, looking down in my trachea and taking some blood tests. They realized that I have this and it is a vasculitis. And what it basically is, is your veins and your arteries can build up scar tissue inside them that are called granulomatoses. And it can affect anywhere on your body because you have veins and arteries all over your body. It can affect anywhere. 
It usually shows up in your airways, so in your nose, in your throat, uh, in your lungs. That's usually where it starts, but it can go into your heart and your brain and your legs and anywhere. Something else that I realized and probably one of the reasons why I don't have hives now is I am gluten intolerant or celiac. I don't know which one because if you look up the uh, celiac tests, you would have to eat a whole ton of glutens in order for the test to even show positive. So I've never had a positive test, but as soon as I start eating gluten for a few days, I start getting hives. And uh, the other thing I found out was vasculitis is all about inflammation. And I found just by myself on the internet that milk and any milk products cause inflammation in your body. I stopped eating all milk products. And uh, one thing that I do have is arthritis all over my body as well, um, which kind of goes hand in hand with the GPA. Eliminating milk from my diet decreases the inflammation from my arthritis so much that I am still able to weight train, I'm still able to go mountain biking, I'm still able to go hiking, all of these things. If I eat milk after two days of eating milk, I can hardly walk on my feet. That's how bad the pain is. So I have learned some things on my own, uh, like the gluten and the milk, but I was also on high doses of prednisone when I was having my hives and prednisone is actually a treatment for GPA. It's not a good treatment. There are others, which I'm on now, but because it was a treatment of GPA and can put you in remission, I believe that that's why I was having hives for like four years and then two years off because I would probably go into remission and then they would come back and then they put me on high doses of prednisone again and then I would eventually go into remission again and I went through those cycles and without them knowing that I had GPA, they were treating me for GPA. But there's lots better treatments for GPA now and I am taking one and it seems to be working well for me and keeping me in remission. There are a lot of people who don't respond well to the treatment and have to take other treatments and um, end up with needing heart transplants or kidney transplants and they, they definitely can't work and they can't go mountain biking, they can't go hiking, they can't do all of the things that I still do and so I feel incredibly lucky and yes there are people with way worse things than me in this world. There's people dying of cancer. There's people, you know, with heart disease. There's people all over the place that have much worse conditions than I do. Um, but I just thought I'd let you guys know what I'm dealing with and, and why I do more backpacking now rather than the mountaineering and stuff that I used to do. That has a lot to do with having kids as well and a lot to do with, you know, that took them a long time to figure out what was wrong with me. So I ended up gaining quite a bit of weight in that time and the prednisone really messed with my hormones. So I am, you know, 30 pounds, 40 pounds heavier than I should be right now. And I unfortunately have never been able to lose that weight despite hiking, despite, you know, walking every day, despite uh, weight training three days a week. So that's something that I'm really working on. Um, I would love to, now that my kids are a little bit older, to get back into the things I used to do, like mountaineering and backcountry skiing. I actually just bought myself some new backcountry skis and bindings, and I haven't even mounted the bindings yet, and new boots. So hopefully you guys are gonna see a little bit more of that. And uh, that's just where I'm at in life. That's why this channel has been more about backpacking and a little bit of mountain biking thrown in and a little bit of bike packing because I had to take it a little bit easier for a while uh, until they figured out what was going on with my health. And I still have to be very kind to my body. And it's been a long process of trying to accept myself and trying to accept where I'm at and that I'm not you know, super fast anymore. I can't go and try and run up and down every mountain and uh, beat the time in the scrambles book anymore. I can't do all of those things as fast and as furiously as I used to. So here I am. And uh, this was really raw and really open. And it just gives you a little bit of insight into uh, who I am and where I'm at and uh, where these videos are coming from. So let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced any life altering diseases or anything that has changed your trajectory in life. And especially if you have GPA, comment below and let me know. And I'm just feeling so grateful that I'm able to have a YouTube channel, that I'm able to continue doing the things that I'm doing. And you'll see me in my videos getting a little bit crazy and yahooing and laughing really hard and loving where I'm at. But 
that's just a part of just being so grateful that I'm still here and so grateful that I can still raise my kids and still be healthy enough to do these things. And every day is a gift. Thanks so much. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed getting raw and getting real with me.